What is up guys, Matt the Roof Master here. So today's video was requested in the comments uh, a little while ago, and I think in the past, but I just never did it, but I'm gonna do it today. Uh, so they asked if I could do a video, kind of a tutorial, talking about how I get my recordings from my software over to my videos and everything in between and all that cool stuff. So we're gonna do that today, guys. A lot of you probably know how to do this. That's fine, that's cool. This is for those of you that want to do it, but you're unsure, you don't know what to do, I'm going to show you. And it's really simple because I was at your stage point at some point when I started, I had no idea what I was doing, but it's so easy. So let's get started. So as you can see, I've got GarageBand open right here. This is the, the recording of my latest cover, Here Comes Revenge. If you've not seen that, go check it out. At the end of this video, I'll put a link. Seriously, go check it out because it is awesome. So anyway, Here's the recording, all these blue tracks here, that's, they're my guitar parts. The track up here, this is the drum track. Um, and this is what you do. So you go up to the toolbar at the top and you go to export song to disc. Well, you go to share, drop down menu, share here, share, hang on, share. <laughs> go down, it says export song to disc. Now this is just on GarageBand. Um, it was the same when I used Reaper and it's probably the same across a lot of other recording softwares. Um, so just keep a lookout for something along the lines of export song to disc. So if once you've done that, you click on that, a menu will pop up here where you can title the file. So we'll call it Revenge. Uh, go down, it's got MP3, which is what we want. Then quality, I've just left it, I never touch it. And then click export. Now once you've done that, it's gonna export it. It's gonna go through a whole process of bouncing. Now, I don't know what bouncing means. If any of you know what bouncing means, please enlighten me. Because like for a year now, I've looked at it and always wonder what the fuck does bouncing mean? Um, but it's bouncing right now. Uh, so it's just going through and collecting it all together, I guess, and bouncing it around. I don't know. Uh, and then once it's done that, it's gonna convert it and do all its voodoo magic wizardry um, until the file is ready. So once it's ready, we'll have to find the file. So we'll go through that and then we'll go over to the video and I'll show you some cool tricks of how to make the video look cool and getting the audio from here to there. So um, yeah, guys, let's go. Okay, guys, so now we are, I've got my folder open here and here is the file, Revenge. Uh, and behind it, I've got my video editor open. This is iMovie, this is what I use. And as you can see here, here is my video. Uh, now I just need to get that audio to that video. Super simple. You just click on the audio track file thing here, revenge, and drag it. Drag it into your video software, plump it down, and it's there. So now the next step obviously is you want it to be synced up because if it's not synced up, it's gonna sound and look like shit, okay. It's true, it will. So best thing you wanna do is when, when you're syncing up your audio is, now I've got the camera audio that's with the video here. And it's not really easy to see, to sync it up. But all I do when I'm going through this process, sometimes it's simple, sometimes it's not. All I'll do is I'll just play it That was spot on, that, that just synced up first time, that's pretty good. But sometimes it doesn't always do that, so all you need to do is just click and drag the uh, audio file around and just keep an eye on it and make sure it syncs up with the video. So you've got two separate files here in your video editor. You've got the video and you've got the audio track. So it's important to get it synced up because I've had videos where it's not synced up and it's just really bugged me. Uh, so really take your time to get it synced up. Sometimes you'll see certain parts where it's obvious where it should sync with the video audio and then your converted audio. I hope that makes sense, but it's really simple. So you just drag your audio file into the uh, video editor underneath your video file, move it around, sync it up and just make sure the video is synced up with the audio. Then obviously you wanna turn down the video audio, okay? Turn that down so you've just got your File, your audio file that's underneath playing because uh, you don't want the camera audio and your audio mp3 file going at the same time so make sure you turn the volume down on the video file 
And there you go, you've got your track, whatever it is you've recorded, synced up with your video, it is as simple as that. So a couple of extra little things I like to do with my videos, for example, the covers. There's a really cool filter on iMovie that I love to use called Vignetti. It just makes it look really cool. You might not have that on yours if you use something else, but maybe look through the filters. Maybe there's something that makes it look really good. Uh, and one other thing that I do, which I sort of started doing, I didn't do it at the beginning, is the black bars. Now you'll notice that, um, let's make this a bit bigger. You'll notice that on my videos, well, my covers, I have the black bars on the top and on the bottom, um, like this type of vibe. Um, I do that just because I, I think it makes it look really good. Like, I really like the look of it. Obviously this looks pants the way it is now, but all I have to do is just crop it to make it look even. Um, doesn't take that long. It's just, it's just like this really, you know, that'll do. Um, it just gives it a cool little cinematic type vibe. So a good filter if you can find one, if not, <coughs> leave it alone. Uh, and the black bars, all I did to make the black bars is I opened up my um, picture editor thing and I just created two black squares and I just dragged them out over the top of the screen and the bottom of the screen and I saved it and that's all it is. Um, it's really simple and like I said, I think it gives the video a really cool look. Um, I dig it, I hope you guys look it. It makes it look professional, which I totally love, especially in some situations. It doesn't have to be for a video, <coughs> excuse me. It doesn't have to be for a video like this. If there's a moment in a video where you think it needs some cinematic goodness, this will be exactly what you wanna do. So guys, there you go. That is my process of doing my recordings and getting my recorded audio, like here, to an MP3 file and then getting that MP3 file to the video. It's really simple, it's not difficult at all. I will mention though, when you do export it and you're waiting for it to pop up in your files, it can take a while. Um, I've had to wait up to 10 minutes before for it to actually appear, but it will be there. Just give it some time, search for it and it'll pop up. And then like I said, when you found it, drag it, drop it into your video, sync it up, always sync it up and you're ready to rock. So there you go guys, I hope that helped out. I hope it was clear. I hope it helped you, I don't know, answer some questions you had if you're wanting to do this. I hope it showed you how to do it. Um, like I said, in oh, this is GarageBand. It might be different on your software, but it's probably the same. They generally are the same. Uh, so if you have any more questions, stick it in the comments. I'll try and help you out. And any of you that know about this stuff, I'm sure they'll help you out as well. Uh, but yeah, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know if it helped out. And if you're looking to do videos like this, I really look forward to seeing them. I'm sure they will be awesome because you guys are awesome. Yeah. Anyway, guys, <laughs> thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that cool stuff. And uh, yeah, I will see you soon, guys. Rock out. Be awesome. See ya.